I'm ready for my first ever Canadian Thanksgiving morning i've put on my favorite jacket today that i've actually stolen from my mum and she recently got a ring doorbell so she can see in her like cloakroom cupboard the person and what they're doing so she actually has footage of me stealing this coat so i actually <laughs> lied and said she said what did you steal from my cupboard knowing full well i stole this coat and i was like nothing and then she was like i have footage of you walking out with a coat and i was like <sighs> crap i totally forgot she had a ring bell now so she could literally see everything i go and take from her house so basically if anyone remembers monica stealing that jumper and friends and putting it under her stomach pretending to be pregnant <laughs> and i'm gonna have to come up with serious ways like that to end up stealing her clothes i'm gonna have to go into her house with like a giant bag and like leave with that giant bag full but come in with it fake full like full of laundry or something oh that's a good idea <laughs> anyway i'll show you my outfit today so i'm wearing her coat <laughs> i'm wearing this top shop jumper underneath which i think goes really nicely with this coat it looks like they're meant to be paired together i'm actually waiting for a top shop order today and i have my little a pashari necklace on i've got my hair tied up in a bun because it's saturday and i ain't got time to sort that out got my fendi bag and these mother denim jeans on my shoes are downstairs now i'm gonna go meet liv you're gonna come with me aren't you oh look there's a sock next to you so we can go yeah get those little legs moving i'm going to hampstead come on Oh my goodness, look how pretty this is! We're in the depths of the heath and it literally is all to ourselves. There's no one around, maybe a bit scary. I know. Hello, how are you? It's so nice and pretty and autumnal! It's beautiful, I love it. I'm out of breath because we're walking uphill. We've got our we'll Apple Watches our on, <laughs> we've got to close the rings. The closing ring obsession is real. Yeah, I, love I had to get myself out of the addiction because it was like taking over my life. <laughs> And I, I'm good, I'm in recovery, but I still want to get it done. Basically, for anyone that doesn't have an Apple Watch, it monitors your activity. So there are three rings you need to close every day. Your stand, your exercise, and your move. When you close all three rings, it like vibrates and gets really excited. And then <laughs> like- you say it, it sounds so pathetic. <laughs> that we get so obsessed with it. <laughs> and then like after a week, you get an award. If you do two weeks in a row, you get an award. I've never done more than a week in a row. I did three months in lockdown. Every now, day. It's incredible. So now I'm on it. Now this is day seven, so I want to close is my eyes today. Oh, you'll get a seven yeah. day workout week. Yeah, I'm so excited. Well done. <laughs> and badge. Well done. So we're walking uphill. This is quite good exercise, actually. But it's not so flat. Like, yeah, when it's like hilly and nice. Right it's great. Someone told me the other day that if, when you're, if you walk with your arms above your head, your heart rate goes higher and you burn more. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I said I am. I walk around like this. I'm literally like, if I ever try saw it, I you go you. for a walk, wait, hold, hold this. <laughs> I'll do it with this. Oh, my arm actually hurts. Okay, put them up. <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah, because you're doing more. Yeah, and I think because your arms are above your head, it makes your heart I rate feel, go higher. I wonder if, you know how after the walk you can see like your heart rate throughout the walk. I wonder if that like 10 seconds. Yeah. Is that, is that Wait, the best was when one of our friends got engaged recently. I oh, noticed yeah. in the picture he was wearing his Apple Watch and I texted him being like, did your heart rate go up when you proposed to her? And he was like, yes, I can see a spike. <laughs> the obsession is not normal. Yeah. Of all the obsessions yeah. you could have, being yeah. obsessed with moving yeah. and exercise is actually a good thing. And so fitness. that's why I love my Apple Watch. TED Talk over. Thanks for coming to our TED Talk on Apple Watch. <laughs> we should be sales over. Apple Watch, please sponsor a media. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hogarth House. I just stopped in awe of you. You're so beautiful. The Duke's just, just like peeing like on your front door. Or... Yeah. Mm, Even Hogarth true. House out. Court. Hogarth Court. I love the autumnal leaves. And like how they've changed. Like they there's really green and, and there's like really red. red. Yeah. It's like out of a little storybook here. It's so beautiful. With all the leaves on the water there. Look what I just got back to. I said I was waiting for this today, didn't I? My top shop order. So this is 
all good autumn things. This is the jumper I was wearing today, by the way, that was also from Topshop. And this part of the vlog is sponsored by Topshop. They let me choose some new and bits from their website that I had my eye on, so I can show them to you. I laid out all my new and bits on the bed. So I have a couple of different things. I have like a coat, jumper hoodie dress, a dress dress, and then some knits. So maybe I'll start by showing you these knits. This is knit number one, a pink lightweight knit. It has a kind of little bit of cream running through it, which I really like. And the um, direction of the knit is really great. I feel like it brings everything in, it brings your eye in and makes the shape a bit more flattering. It's kind of like nice subtle difference that I really like and I feel like actually works. Anyway, I like the sleeve length as well. It's kind of a tiny bit cropped, the sleeves. Can you see? Oh, by the way, close my rings, close my move ring and my exercise ring. I just have my stand ring <laughs> left to close. But yeah, this is a winner. I knew it would be. Do you know what I mean? You know when you just know those sort of staple type jumpers. Got little puffy sleeves but nothing too mega. Like if I hold my arm like this, you can't really tell about the puffiness of the sleeves. It's not too Shakespearean vibes. I'm going to link everything I'm showing you in the information box below along with sizes and everything as well because I know people always ask me what size I have. So I got another knit. I love Topshop knits. They do a great variety. You do have to act fast with them because they're so good they sell out really quickly. This one has a little bit of cutout on it but nothing too major. Like you can't tell that there's skin underneath. I don't love seeing skin underneath jumpers. It's something weird. I'm wearing a kind of pinkyish bra. So it kind of almost blends and it looks like there's a lining on the jumper, which I really like. I think if I was wearing a white vest or something underneath as well, that would work too. But it's nothing too much that you can like, you feel like you're being exposed. Do you know what I mean? And this is really comfortable. It's also super lightweight and these sleeves are a normal length, not a crop length. Hello, I am into this outfit. Look at this cute little coat I have. This little mint coat with gorgeous buttons. I bought a Topshop coat maybe like a month, a month and a half ago, and everyone went crazy for it. Every time I link to it or I wear it, everyone's asking me about it. So I went back on their coat section and I fell in love with this coat. I just think it's such a different one for me. But the fit is amazing because I need something that comes above my knee. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. I'm too short. I'm too short and I just look like I'm being drowned by a coat. So I find the Topshop coats fit perfectly on me. I've literally paired this over that jumper I just showed you. And with the jeans, little Manolos and a cream bag. I love this look. I'm like, I'm ready to go to a meeting. <laughs> this jumper is a little bit cropped. But when I'm wearing not even high-waisted jeans, it still works. I didn't want my midriff to show because it's winter now. <laughs> it's too cold for that. And actually, I don't really even do that that much in summer anyway. But I was debating between getting the cream or the purple. And I went with the purple because I was like, I'm getting a cream and another jumper. I have a lot of cream jumpers. Let's go with something more lilac. This is almost like, it's like a lilac-y cream. It's not too in your face or too heavy purple or anything. But I love the slouchy feel of it. I love the collar and the little buttons and how floofy it is. Look at these mini pockets. I mean you can fit absolutely nothing in there but it just adds a little something to the top. So I have this jumper slouchy jersey dress that's more of a summer fabric. It's like a really really light material. Every time I wear it I get so many questions about it. Sorry I just pulled this over my head so my hair looks a bit frazzled now. But every time I wear it I get so many questions about it. And I wear it so, so much. So I wanted a wintry version and I haven't found anything for ages. I've literally been looking for like two winters. Anyway, ooh, Jack's calling. I'll be there in like half an hour, is that okay? Yes, I'm Gini. All right, bye. Bye, Jack. Hi, I'm Gini. Bye. Perfect timing. I'm gonna go meet Jack and Guy in a sec. But, can't remember where I was in my story. Anyway, I found one on the Topshop website that is more of a, like a hoodie dress, I guess. I thought it was gonna be a bit shorter than this, but actually I'm kind of liking the long length. I feel like it will keep my legs warm and snug. And it looks really cool. Like it looks like I'm wearing a skirt with a hoodie. Like it's kind of slouching there. Can you see it's meant to do that? I kind of love this. Like I feel like I could wear this so much, stay warm, but also great when I don't want to wear jeans, which is a lot of the time because I hate jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, you know me and my love of dresses. This season I've been loving Topshop autumn winter dresses. 
and this one was no different it has little ruffles at the front i love the green i feel like dark green really suits me especially with my hair color and i think it just has a really nice flattering le neckline it's just their fits and their shapes really really suit me i feel like i put on their dresses and i feel really feminine but not like i'm in a summer dress by any means i think that's the last of my top shop haul so yeah like i said i'll leave everything linked down below i'm literally gonna run now and meet jack and guy i might wear one of my june jumpers actually and um i literally need to run because they're already there and i said i'd be there in like half an hour so i can't make myself late so i'm not seeing jack at the moment <laughs> we had to change plans so i'm eating deliciously ella crackers and hummus whilst watching friends could you tell before you knew what it was could you hear it's 9 30 on a sunday morning i'm doing laundry I've been up since 8, which is weird because I went to bed at 1. Don't ask how I went to bed at 1 when like everything closes at 10. But I had a dinner last night and um, we left at around 12.30, 12.30ish. So by the time I was in bed it was at 1. I've been using this blue shampoo. Look at this, it gets on my towel. I feel like I'm not washing it out properly or I didn't yesterday anyway. Today is my sister's birthday so I have a card for her and I'm going to go and give it to her this morning and my present for her I'm picking up from the new forest next weekend she wanted this stool from a special carpenter there so I'm gonna get that next weekend I'll I'll post a picture of it or something because it's gorgeous so today I have a card for her I might go and get her flowers on the way every weekend I normally end up having like one really lazy day and one like house sorting day so yesterday I was in bed till 10 30 that was my lazy day and today is my house sorting day so i've got like laundry and stuff to do but it's such a gorgeous day today's actually canadian thanksgiving and i've never celebrated canadian thanksgiving nor am i canadian but estee's having a canadian thanksgiving and she invited me so I'm gonna go to that later i'm really excited she, i was like what do you need to bring what do you need to bring like pecan pie like what can i bring what can i bring she was like a mini pumpkin i was like Okay, so I need to go on the hunt for a mini pumpkin this morning. And I just put my video live. It's 9.39 right now. And 9.30 is my video time on the Sundays when I normally post. And I didn't post last week and I shared why in this video. Um, so I'm kind of like sat here refreshing the comments. Well, I have three new comments to reply to. Oh, hi. Refreshing them like as soon as they're live and replying, that's what I do. So yeah, I'm kind of nervous to see how this video goes down. And if you haven't watched it, um, go back and watch it because it will explain maybe something you're wondering. <laughs> I'm ready for my first ever Canadian Thanksgiving. I got too many pumpkins. I'll show you them on the way. And I wanted to show you my outfit because I've styled this jumper that I got yesterday a bit differently actually. So I've put on this little skirt that I got last year. I tried to pair it with this dress I recently got from Louise Aroma, but the um, skirt almost like came up too high. I needed it a bit lower. With the jumper it didn't really work. The jumper came down to here and then it kind of poofed out underneath. But I'm looking forward to wearing this dress at some point. I'll link it down below anyway. So I'm wearing it with this skirt, my little Alaya bag. I always whip this out in autumn because it's such an autumnal colour. And I whipped out the autumnal boots. I was looking at getting these in suede as well because I know every season I wear them so much. These are the Stuart Wiseman ones. And that is my little outfit. I put up my Sunday video this morning and I've been reading the comments and actually I forgot that from years and years and years ago when I started YouTube and when YouTube first started allowing content creators to block certain words, I blocked the word nose. <laughs> So I had to go through and unblock the word nose because obviously everyone was com commenting on it in my last video and none of the comments were coming up because any comment that had that no word in wouldn't get shown. It's quite a cool thing actually if you're a content creator online on Instagram you can do the same. So if you get like certain comments um, about a certain 
feature reviews or the way you look or something that you just don't want to see or read every single day, you can just block the word. It's genius. Anyway, um, <laughs> so when doing that, I actually saw all my old, because it goes onto like a separate part of your comments that I don't really check. And I actually saw all my old, old, old comments um, that I haven't just like looked at for like a year of blocked words. It's like a blocked words comment section. So I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Before I go, my foundation looks a bit too um, foundation-y. Do you ever get that feeling where you're like, ooh, I look a bit cr like a little crustacean. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use my Coley Beauty Elixir because it is the best kind of product to do that. It's like a nice mist on the face. You've definitely seen this before. It's like such an amazing cult product. I've talked about this like so many years ago. Oh, and it smells all minty and fresh and it just helps everything not look so heavy on your face. Do you know what I mean? So I have something coming out soon, which is a new Amelia Liana kit. We've been working really hard behind the scenes to make this happen because I wanted to bring out another one that was like really, really highly requested, not in collaboration with the brand or anything. So that's coming out soon. And the theme of this kit is even better than the last one. We took on like all the incredible feedback that we got and the constructive criticism as well. Um, and we've made this even better. Anyway, I'll tell you about it soon. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. But the Codely Beauty Elixir will be in the kit along with so many other products I'll tell you about soon, which I'm just so excited because I know this is, I love improving, like I love improving and I love improving what I bring out and what I do and like that really feeds my soul. So when I know like, okay, this is the, such a good improvement, I'm so happy with how this kit has gone and what's in this kit, um, that I can't wait to share it with you. So, okay, anyway, anyway, I'll tell you about it soon. Let's go to Estes. <laughs> Got my little cute pumpkin. <laughs> somebody knows where somebody is going. Are you excited? Duke. Come on. <laughs> okay. Wow. I now feel like this whole ta incredible table set up in Estes and I'm like, bought the pumpkin. Ooh, that's what I did. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like wine everywhere. Because everyone has like little cute place settings that Estee made. How did she even, I can see her little line that she drew. Can you see this? She's so bloody cute. She drew and then drew around it in a pen. pen. I, I don't know if that's just me picking that up, but I feel like she's done that because that's such a hard thing to do and she's so cute. Please talk us through said place settings. So, okay. everybody gets to go home with their own maple syrup. Oh my gosh! That's and so cool! These are little beavers, obviously. Oh, it's a, oh, obviously it's a beaver. Wait, what did you think it was? I don't know. I thought it was a reindeer. Okay. Sorry. I knew it was I did mess it up a little. But okay. Basically, you know, how the tail. hell did you make a beaver? I didn't see the tail to be fair. Okay. How did I you make the beaver? So literally, just cut out each component, glued yeah. it on, and inside. You had a glue. I bought all this for this occasion. Okay. This is <laughs> this a big so deal. Can I just say, did you like rough draw and then draw? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, you're so cute. Okay. Yeah. And inside is a trivia. Okay. So don't read it oh, now, oh, but when okay, we sorry. sit down, everyone can have a Canadian trivia. Oh, that's, I love that idea. That's what I thought. So, how did you know how to make a beaver is I what I need to know. I did find that on Pinterest. Okay, Pinterest. Yes. And I'm so happy that Amelia brought these pumpkins. It's the only thing I couldn't find. Oh, oh, thank God. Yeah, you were like small them. ones. Yeah. I was like, I need to do this. It's the only thing I'm doing oh, today. This one is a little weird, isn't it? Yeah, that one's a weird one. This yeah. one was a much cuter, like, table yes. appropriate well, one. Well, I think it's time to open up the red wow. wine. I love, I love the wine options as well. Oh, yes. God, and what a hostess. When I bought them, he said we had to drink it in this order. Oh, so I better okay, because one. of wine he vibes. He just said it goes lightest to most, I don't know. Literally wine gets like so over my head Seriously. and I'm like, aha, uh -huh, the wine, oh wow, the sky looks amazing, right? I'm like, the wine, uh, the wine, all I know is I want to drink it. Great. I'm in. The Fiesta yes. yeah. de Resisto yeah. is, is the one that was oh. turkey cheese ball. Oh my god. Now, Amelia, do you know what a cheese ball is? No, I, I won't lie that I don't know. I'm guessing a ball <laughs> of cheese. My mom was like, what do you mean people in the UK don't know what cheese balls are? Everybody knows what cheese balls are. I'm like, no, they don't. <laughs> what is it? It's 
cheese, different yeah. types, yeah. made into a ball. Oh my god! And you use the cracker, like the nest of the turkey, to just dip it and eat it. Wait, so you literally just got loads of... Oh, Effie's licking me. Oh. Thank you. Um, yeah. You could just got loads of different cheese and mushed it into a bowl? Yes, and rolled it in nuts. <laughs> this is As unreal. You do. What cheese? Cheese bowl with Well, it's only, it's only cheddar and cream cheese. Did you see this on Pinterest yes, too? Yes, I was having a moment with this Pinterest. Is, this is quite the accomplishment. It really I is think for someone You like need to me. post a picture of that. I it's pronto, it's unreal. <laughs> I could make the grid. <laughs> yeah, I think it's grid worthy. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Wow. You even have one of these baster thingies that I see in films. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Green Bonnie of the kitchen. Look at all these amazing vegetables. Oh wow. Oh, I need to I need to just scoop around here and show everyone what your magic. You air fried these, didn't you? Is this what's in the Wellington? No, so that's actually the stuffing. So there's two stuffings. So one's a vegetarian version, and then yeah. there's one with sausage meat as well. Oh my goodness. And it's just like chestnuts, mushrooms. It looks really good. I want to eat that with a spoon. These are great too. Oh, I'm so excited. So wait, you do it like this, and then you put them in the oven? So basically, no. You do them so you brown them on a... Yeah, like that. You want them on a dry like on a dry pan so you yeah. get them really brown and then you put everything together because if they're together they won't brown okay you want it to be like they want to be like by themselves yeah and then you put them in and with like maple syrup and bacon and oh pecans. my god i'm so excited my sister just got an Apple Watch for her birthday. We're walkie talkie. <laughs> talkie. Dinner is being served. First, the vegan and vegetarians, which I'm not in the category of. I do love it. all the vegetables. So I'm so excited. Are you buzzing? I'm literally buzzed. Oh, baby. <laughs> I knew when I asked you that, I was like, I knew. I know that's what she's going to say to me. Like, I know he's going to No, no, you're going to. I have so much of the wine. It's wine time. Ooh. Are you hanging out with everyone? I bought this place when I was a total bachelor. And I'm still a total bachelor as far as I'm concerned. Bachelorette, I should say. I was literally just going to say, what's changed? Like, I don't understand. I bought this place when I was a total bachelor. I was like... <laughs> I meant to say bachelorette in the first place, but I'm just, I'm gone with the wind, baby. <laughs> I was literally like, stop trying to sound cooler than you are. <laughs> Nothing's changed. You meant like in your wild I days. I meant in my wild days, exactly. Now I've, I've calmed down. Yeah. Yeah. But seriously, I did. <laughs> when I was a wild bachelorette, you know it was a crazy time. You don't need to justify it anymore. <laughs> You got the, the parsnips, the mashed potatoes, different stuffings, different, what are these called again? Brussels sprouts, purple carrots, um, beets, bread, wellington, and of course, the turkey. We're starting the trivia. Amelia's turn. Next yeah. one. Okay. Which Canadian chain first opened in Hamilton, Ontario in 1964? Tim Hortons. Yes! <laughs> Why not? Yes. BBC just this week. We've trained you so well. If anyone remembers, I say like going to Tim Hortons, Dubai. No offense to anyone in Dubai, it's not the same. Yeah, it's a Canadian way of saying that word. Oh, brownie. Who wants half a dough? chocolate one. Do you get some turkey too? Should I go find Effie? Quick little detour after the wonderful Canadian Thanksgiving. Going to drop this off at Hannah's. Duke's tush is in the way. Forgot to mention this entire vlog that my hair is a tiny tiny bit lighter again. Had a bit of a saga of life with my hair recently um, and I've lost quite a bit of hair but my hairdresser came back 
um, so she colour corrected it for me. So it's a work in progress still, but anyway, <laughs> I know people are gonna come and be like, hold on, your hair isn't dark anymore. I feel like every week I need to put like a little different hair update in. This is my regular Sunday night cleanser, the AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser from Murad. I use this once to three times max a week and I find it really helps clear up my skin. I'm gonna end up doing two Thanksgivings this year and people always ask why. I do Thanksgiving anyway because I'm not American but my mum lived in New York um, for a few years so she's always done Thanksgiving and I love it like why why not give thanks why not give more thanks why not do two Thanksgivings in a year like it's such an amazing holiday and tradition and I googled it and the reason why Canadian Thanksgiving is earlier than American Thanksgiving is because their harvest is different because their winters get colder. Next week, this time next week, Tuesday, I will be going live on YouTube. I've never done a YouTube live before, um, so I'll be posting the details of that soon. I think it will be around 4 or 5 p.m. on Tuesday the 18th. So, is it the 18th? No, no, it's not the 18th, it's the 20th. On the 20th of October, I'll be going live on YouTube and I'll be doing a live all about jewellery. So please, please, please come and join me. Um, I've never done a live on YouTube before, like I mentioned a hundred times. <laughs> so I'm like kind of nervous already. It's like two weeks away and I'm really nervous. Oh, oh God, how good is it taking off your makeup? So nice. I know I said I would answer some nose questions. So I'm actually going to do that in my next vlog because my video's only been up a day so I feel like the questions, I want to get as many questions as I can and like see what comes up the most and stuff. So I'll answer those on Sunday because this is going to be a bonus video and I will see you then. Bye guys!